it's been a while. I know we were missing for a couple of weeks, but um, we had to yield to the protocol of COVID and you know how it is, right? Carla will not be gracing us with her presence, but we expect to have her back on the next episode. Okay, so tonight I'll be preparing calamari, squid, as you know it. Um, this is actually one of my favorite appetizers to eat out, and it's also one of my favorite appetizers to make. The ingredients are simple, and here we have them. So I have a cup of regular flour, a cup of corn flour, some black pepper, salt, garlic powder, freshly chopped parsley, a cup and a half of buttermilk, and two eggs. So in a bowl, I'll add two eggs. We'll give it a little whisk. Pour a cup and a half buttermilk in. Give it another little whisk around. Now, what this is, we're making a marinade for the calamari. So now, I'll place the calamari in here. This, I will put in the fridge, and I'll let it sit for about a, one hour. So while I'm waiting for the calamari to marinate, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make the sauce or the dip that goes along with it. So for that, we need some mayonnaise. A little bit more. Some horseradish, maybe a half a tablespoon. And I usually put a little bit of marinara in just to give it a little bit of color. So about two tablespoons or one tablespoon, sorry. And a little bit of pepper to give it a little bit of heat. Good. We'll mix it around. I'll add a bit of parsley to it. A little bit of salt. And a bit of pepper. So here I have a cup of regular flour, a cup of corn flour, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a pinch of chopped parsley. This is what I'll use to make the batter for the calamari. Okay, so these guys have been sitting in here for over one hour. It's time to batter the calamari. Stick them in here. A little at a time. There you go. Gonna shake the excess flour off. Gonna make sure that we get it inside of the ring as well. So each ingredient in the batter plays a role. The egg helps to bind and add flavor. The buttermilk helps to tenderize the calamari. And just something for you to know too. The corn flour, what that does, it helps to add a nice, crisp, crunchy uh, texture to the calamari. So here I have a cup of vegetable oil in the pan. The idea is to get it up to 350 degrees. Now, we can put it up to 375, so when we add the calamari in, we get it back to 350. Remember, you don't want to cook these for more than a minute or a minute and a half maximum. Anything over that, they will become rubbery and unpleasant to eat. So now, put in the calamari in. Ok, 
Okay, so here we have it. Calamari is done. They have a nice color, nice texture because I had one. The flavor is like out of this world. But I'm gonna just season it a little bit more. I'll just add a little bit of salt. And a little bit more pepper. I have a lemon that I will cut. Looking good, and since I have there's no guest here tonight, I get the honor of trying the first one. So I'll just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over top. Pick one up. Look at that crunchiness. Dip it in here. delicious very crunchy not rubbery it's not overcooked I can taste the parsley and all the spices very good the dip is out of this world hmm I think I'll have another one it is so good guys I wish you could taste this but when you follow the steps, when you do it the way I did it, you will have the same taste at home. This is fried calamari. One more. Mm. Gosh, I feel like I could eat the whole thing, but I can't. Too bad I'm on a diet and I'm trying to refrain from overeating but I'm gonna have one more pretend as if you didn't hear me say that so damn good thank you for watching this video guys I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it and eating it and don't forget you don't have to eat fast food just make good food fast